Hello again, Cons here. Uh, I have a video that I'm pretty excited to share with you today, everybody. Uh, I have been recently working a long time on some spreadsheets that do the damage calcs for me in Monster Hunter. They're not ready yet, so I'm not releasing them just yet, but you can sort of get a sneak preview. And the thing is, these new Water Dual Blades that came out are like the perfect opportunity to compare them, because they have purple sharpness as opposed to Safi's Meta White. They have less raw and slightly less water. However, the purple sharpness brings up the water and the raw so that it has less raw but more water. And so it's like... EFR alone and elemental values alone aren't enough to adequately compare the values and so I have to actually run the damage calcs so I can give you some accurate numbers. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to sharing this with you. So this is currently the meta dual blade set for element. Well, I guess the meta dual blade set in general. This is currently built for water. As you can see, we've got max water attack. We've got two set bonuses, three piece Safi, two piece Valkana. You get up to 100% affinity with tenderize. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Tim Prolonga is to make protective polish last longer which we have on the set. I'm not going to be accounting for coalescence. That might shift the number slightly, but it's quite niche and people don't use it that much. So I'm not going to be accounting for it, but feel free to rerun the calcs with it. But yeah, it's a pretty standard Safi set. It has a few points of resentment to take advantage of that, but mostly it's just stacking element and, and affinity. Now we can modify this set quite easily. You can see we have Safi's Aquacolos hair. Now the issue is the Wetfish Sabres do not have the force slot that the Safi weapons do. However, they do have protective polish built in. And so it is incredibly easy to just jump into the set to swap out the protective polish decoration since we no longer need it, to take one of our critical vitality jewels, put in critical boost here, and then you can replace the opened up four slot. So you're losing one point of health boost, but it's really not a big deal. Um, and we can throw in item prolonger if I can find it. There we go. And so we've got the exact same set with the exact same stats, which is another nice thing about this. I don't have to build a whole new set. We're just comparing the weapons pretty much directly. Now I plan on verifying my damage calcs uh, on the training pole. I would use the barrels that you can tenderize. However, some of the dual blade attacks miss them. And so what I'm actually going to do is just to sort of emulate tenderizer. I'm going to throw on a glider mantle on both sets. Uh, I'm going to equip it whenever I do my testing. And I'm also going to throw on a bunch of expert uh, plus jewels. That'll give me an extra three points of critical eye, which is... 20 affinity which makes up for the tenderizer not being active um, so yeah don't, don't worry about that it's not gonna actually affect the damage numbers I give you it's just for number verification on my spreadsheets as you can see we have the set here I have the values filled in 322 raw 510 element 5 base affinity water uh, I haven't mentioned that it's purple sharpness my bad let's fix that quickly I've also got on all the miscellaneous bugs uh, buffs and stuff I have taken those and I will take those in a second just to prove it I forgot to bump up the critical lie we're gonna have to put that back down in a second but for now let's just stick it up to seven to emulate tenderize I've got Safi Jiva and critical element on and I haven't tenderized the hit zone so we have all of the values filled in now what this tells us is that our displayed raw should be 733 and our element 790. So just to verify that, we'll take all of our buffs and such, and it's 433. Now my spreadsheet won't account for the fact that resentment will miss a few moves, but that's not going to make that much of a difference. And so as we can see, the displayed values are correct. Now you can see I've lowered my health a bit just to keep resentment active the whole time, but it's just a case of testing our values. Now what I will do is I will test the blade dance, seeing as it's the most complicated move. We are hoping for 1386. 1,386, perfect. We'll do that test again, I suppose, just to make 100% sure. Perfect, okay, so I've verified that the damage calc sheets seem to work for this set. I will check it with the other set, just to make 100% sure. Okay, so just back in the spreadsheet quickly, you can see 378, 540 water, sharpness down to white. Everything else has stayed uh, exactly the same. So we've now updated the values, and we can check by the displayed values that those are accurate. 489. Uh, is the displayed raw correct and 830 would be the raw if we unsheathed our weapon uh, so it is okay perfect so you can see that the numbers match up so now we can just check the calcs and so we are hoping for a blade dance value of 1431 and exactly 1431 and what we'll do is we'll just verify that one more time i'm sorry to do this all by the way it's just because i haven't shown you these spreadsheets before i feel like i need to go out of my way to verify the damage calcs just to make 100 sure 1431 perfect now there are occasional rounding errors i'll try some of the smaller hits just to check so double slash for example uh we can we can test that out quickly 139 we expect 139 nice okay well let's try lunging strike and, and then be done with it <laughs> 174 perfect so i think i've sort of given you a good enough idea that these damage calcs appear to be accurate now i can't be 100 sure if you notice when you're making the sets that you get different numbers to me please please let me know 
so I can so I can verify and, and make the necessary changes. I'm really sorry if that's the case. The last thing I want to do is spread misinformation. However, there does come a point where I need to start testing these builds out. And while I have tested as accurately as I can, you know, it's it's hard to be 100% certain. So please accept my preemptive apologies. And as you can see, I've taken all of our damage calcs and copied them into the separate page. The numbers differ slightly because I have put tenderize on, so we're using slightly different hit zones now. But I've also taken off those expert decorations, and so we're using our actual set against tenderized parts. And unfortunately, as you can probably tell by the numbers, the blade dance sort of makes it quite clear. But the tuna dual blades do underperform compared to the Safi ones. The numbers are lower for basically everything. Uh, I guess the training pole and most importantly the Teostra's head because that's a, uh, I think a 30 water hit zone which kind of is the sort of monster that you'd be fighting with this. Yeah, it's unfortunately underperforms 180 compared to 184. We've got 1275 compared to 1244. I should put up these tables in a better format. Let me know what sort of format you'd like to see these tables in. But, uh, but for now it's fine. Just keep them here for comparison. You can pause the video if you'd like but I'll talk you through them. Yeah, on basically every hit except like the lunging strike. We are slightly underperforming. I thought I'd do something interesting here via the power of editing. I've taken up that black box. This is an adjusted version of the Tuna Dual Blades where the only change I've made has been to swap out one of the element augments for an affinity augment and then take two points of critical eye out and replace them with two points of resentment, which is quite easy to do on the sets. And as you can see from the training pole, it seems compared to the old version of the Tuna, it's pretty much an objective increase uh, on most hits, not all of them. But like the blade dance, which is kind of what counts a lot. Um, six fold demon slash two fold. I guess the flurry is a different case. You can see, however, it's not as clear cut whether it's an increase or a decrease. Um, so that's an interesting thing to note. However, when you look at it compared to on something like Teostra's head, you see that the difference becomes less stuck. And that is because the training pole is an unreasonably high raw hit zone for the head. You probably know this by now if you do much damage calcs. But the training pole raw hit zone or slicing hit zone is like 80. Whereas most monsters aren't anywhere near that. So it kind of overestimates the effect of increasing raw. So yeah, it's uh, it's just a, just an interesting thing to note, kind of just proof of something that we've all known for quite a while. For example, Blade Dance actually goes down on Tiastra's head. And just to put the numbers in a bit more perspective, I've worked them out as a percentage change compared to the Safi ones. And as you can see on something like Tiastra's head, I know these tables aren't exactly the cleanest. You really seem to be losing something like 2.5% of your DPS on pretty much every single move. Now, if you wanted an actual measure of how much DPS you'd, lo you'd lose, you'd really have to like take an average, but it'd have to be based on your playstyle, and you'd end up with something more along the lines of minus 1% DPS. But yeah, I'm gonna say that on average, you're losing something like 2.5% damage if you run if you run this set, uh, this weapon. Now, just to clarify, 2.5% DPS in exchange for not having to grind Safi, not having to grind Dracolite, I mean, it's really not a bad trade-off in my opinion. So, and obviously if you don't have protective polish decorations, then it's even better. So, you know, I mean, go to town. <laughs> it's 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 really good. Yeah, the, the dual blades themselves are really powerful. I really like them and they obviously look dope. The other thing to consider is that I believe they get slightly less purple than Safi gets white. However, uh, if you're protective polishing, you, you, you're you gonna run through your existing sharpness really quickly anyway. So that's not a huge factor in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, hopefully this has all made sense. I know the mask might have got a little bit sort of washing over your head. Maybe your eyes roll back a little bit and you're not that interested. But I thought I'd include it here for anybody who actually was. I guess I'll give the TLDR. TLDR, I probably like put a timestamp said skip here for the TLDR. Um, yeah, here are the numbers on screen now for the Safi dual blades and for the Tuna dual blades using meta sets. And as you, I put the percentage differences below them. And as you can see, Safi on the Teostra hit zones, which are kind of the ones that count the most you lose something like 2.5% DPS on most of your moves compared to Safi, uh, somewhere around that range. So yeah, it's not meta, it isn't as good as Safi's weapons, but it's only 2.5% worse off, and in exchange for that, you don't have to bother grinding Safi, which is quite nice. So yeah, the dual blades are really cool. Uh, I hope this video was interesting. I, I hope you, you liked it. Let me know if there's anything I could have done differently. This is a new style for me. I don't really do this much mass in my videos normally. Um, but hopefully everything made sense and hopefully all my numbers were accurate. But yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. So have a lovely day.